Hey guys, it's Alex here. It's uh, time for some sporty afros cooking. I am obsessed with this new way of cooking salmon, rice, and veggies all within what's a rice cooker. So I'm going to show you how I make this meal without uh, doing much of anything. So let's get started. First, what we're going to do right here, I've already cut up the salmon. I was purchased so I have a food scale right here it's already been washed beforehand but I just pretty much take about five ounces of salmon uh, it's four point uh, nine eight five something like that so almost five so we're good take that and I have everything already set out so I have organic brown balsami rice right here which is the rice that I'm using this week I kind of try to switch up rice every week so I already have it out this is the rice cooker uh, I really can't cook rice very well I can cook a lot of things pork chop chicken anything like that but rice always baffled me so the rice cooker is my go-to and why I like it is because you literally just throw it in there add water and press the button but you can make a lot more than just rice in a rice cooker so um, I have some coconut oil spray. I don't use this a lot, but in this instance, I am just to kind of coat the bottom of it. You don't have to. Uh, this particular one really doesn't stick, but I know a lot of brands, they oftentimes stick. So um, just keep that in mind. I've already have the water preset or uh, pre measured, but if you didn't, in this particular one, and most rice cookers, they also have a, let's see if you guys can see that. Um, there it goes. Um, you can see where it shows you the water and the cups, the rice on this side, the water on that side. So let's make it where you guys can see. So that's how it is. This is no, this is actually set to white rice, but brown rice they give you this little cup to measure because brown rice soaks up more water. So what I find is good is putting in about a little bit of water first and then adding the rice it helps not to stick to the bottom so oftentimes I just do a little measurement pour as much as I want you see that the the rice cooker itself went down once the water is there so that's how they work and then whoops sorry guys it comes with the steam basket basket and normally you could put veggies and stuff like that in there but for this one this is where I'm gonna add in my herbs and lemon lime all that kind of stuff so real quickly ah I hate putting that so I'll go ahead and cut up some lime some lemon I don't know why I'm saying lime I probably have lime on the brain so these out just a little bit at the bottom some of this is going to fall in the rice which is good and the juices from the salmon as well is going to fall in there which is what I want I have some dill and you can take a hammer mash it do whatever you want to it as far as seasoning right now this is just quick dirty and easy nothing major I have a couple of different seasonings that I like to use um, I add allspice to this one but uh, it's Trader Joe's everyday seasoning a really good one if you have Zoe's kitchen in your area they have seasoning it's already made it's very good this one is in Plano um, so it shows you everything that's in there very good one and this is from La Madeline they have a rosemary um, I guess mixture it's really good and I recommend keeping this refrigerated so in this particular one I'm just gonna sprinkle this what time and I'm only gonna do one fillet I guess I could go ahead and do two let me go ahead and just add the other one so this one do this one a little bit different. I'm gonna add the lemon onto this one, the lemon juice. Whereas this one, 
I'm going to add the lemon actually on it. Oh, well, you just make this however you want to. Like I said, it's no, it's not not a big deal. And the cool thing about this is that I'm doing it in real time to show you what you can do instead of eating out. So there, you have two pieces already in there. Didn't take too long. I'm moving slow because I'm recording, but you could just throw those things in there. And that's it if you want to add some more lemon juice on it it's gonna all soak down in the bottom flip switch and it's cooking and this one it shows you warm which means you can have it sitting out and then it's cooking and what's gonna happen I'm gonna show you guys move this out the way what's gonna happen is that it's gonna warm up some more steam's gonna come out this way so I recommend not having it up under the cabinets here, having it out and open. And that's really it. So all the steam is going to be building up in here. And that is what's going to actually cook the salmon, which is a brilliant idea. Um, I don't know why I've never thought about that. <laughs> you can also throw other things in the steam basket if you want to. It's going to steam up the salmon and everything else. The juices will flow down to the rice. So kind of season the rice or if you want to add more seasoning, you want to use chicken stock, things of that sort, you can go ahead and do that um, when you put that in there. So that's it. I'm going to, it's currently, let's see what time it is, roughly around 8.30 here. It should be finished within about 20 minutes um, or less. So I'll show you guys the final thing. But yeah, that's it that's simple that's easy that's quicker than pizza hut pizza stopping it you know chipotle or somewhere on the way home or wherever and it's really cheap so the salmon i got for roughly around um a whole pound for about 10 bucks and it's wild alaskan uh salmon and that's what i have there so that's ten dollars rice is really cheap seasoning you probably already have so Truly this this really cost me less than twelve dollars to make for two people. So that's six and of course Really all I had to buy was the meat because I already had everything prepackaged So it's very quick and easy and you can use this time to go ahead you guys see my fingers here uh, You guys can go ahead and use this time to shower get dressed and other things if when you're tired from working out um, and rushing at home, so I will show you the final product and about 20 minutes. Thanks. All right, guys, it's done. It was less than 30 minutes and look at it. There we go. The fish is done. Let's see. I'm just going to take that out. Let's remove that and the rice is below so that's it you kind of see some of the seasoning and the juices kind of drip down there it's fluffy no problem it's not sticking to the sides or anything like that so all you need to do is just put on a plate um, you can serve it with I have a salad right here uh, you could also serve it with broccoli, green beans, anything like that. Really, really quick and simple. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and, sorry guys, go ahead and take this out. scoop of rice plate and if it's just for you then the second piece of fish definitely can be put um, immediately Ooh, see it just falls right off it's falling right off Yee. you 
you guys are seeing this in real time so it's not going to be as pretty as I would want it to be actually I'm just going to keep this back on the skin you guys know I have to take an Instagram picture of this Just a quick salad. I normally have my salads already made up. Love a little purple cabbage, some chia seeds, avocado, some mixed green, so nothing too major. Get some of these cucumbers in there. And I'm simply going to add a little bit of everyday seasoning just to the rice. Oh, okay. that. And that's it, you guys. I didn't do much of anything. Normally, I already have, you can purchase salads prepackaged if you want to. I make my own, so... This is the final thing. So that is the rice cooker uh, dinner for you guys. Less than 20 minutes and it took me only 5 minutes to finish. So I'm going to chow down now. Thanks. Stay tuned for more recipes. I'm going to try out some other uh, mixtures and everything together. So check out more at sportyafros.com. Talk to you soon. Yum.